What's good, everybody? It's your boy Locked and Loaded. And first of all, I want to start by saying Happy New Year. Appreciate you being here with me and just taking a little bit of time out today and watching this video. We plan on bringing 2023 in with a little, a little bang, a little banger. So with that being said, um, again, my name is Locked and Loaded. If you're new here, you can expect uh, game, you know, games, uh, firearm content, and fishing content. Those are going to be the main things that I put on through the channel. But today we're going to talk about some firearms. So um, as you may know, if you like, so if you're not new here, if you, as you may know, I do carry the SIG X Macro. As you see, that orange following me, we are clear. Nothing in there. We go check it, expect it, all that good stuff. We carry the SIG X Macro. Um, I got this gun about a week and a half after it came out. And um, this firearm is, is smooth as heck. I love it to death. I've had no malfunctions. Um, and I've recently hit my thousand rounds uh, through this gun. So, with that being said, um, what I'm going to do soon, I'm going to do a thousand round review on this firearm, but that's not what we're here today. So now that we got that out of the way, if you don't know, 17 rounds, slim frame, easy to, to conceal, all that good stuff, right? This is my everyday carry. Now, with that being said, I just got a new cop. Now, I didn't always have a SIG um, for my everyday carry. I started off with a Glock 40, 48. I think I had the Glock 48, which is a you know single stack, 10 round firearm, which is cool, right? But I was like, I want a red dot. So then I went and picked up the Glock 43X, which was super dope. You know, I, I love that firearm. I took some dope pictures. I'll make sure I put them on the screen, all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I was rocking with the 43X for a while. But I was like, 10 rounds, uh, people crazy. People out here got switches and all that, right, right, right. So I was like, okay, let me get something that's, you know, hold a little bit more than 10. Fast forward to then, like I said, I got the, the uh, 365X macro. And uh, now we, we 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 got a new Glock, y'all. We got a new Glock. Um, I saw a video, right? Um, I watch these guys on YouTube. It's like four of them, and they just been dropping. I just been watching all the videos, all that good stuff. It's kind of a little inspiration to me. Um, so you got Life of Ob, uh, Real Rambo J, Chris TV, and JSG Hustle. So uh, two of them, two of them, they got Glocks. One of them got a Glock 19. One got a Glock uh, 19 next, and they um. They 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 introduced me to something that was a little little different. I had never thought about it before, and that's that's a compensator. So I do plan on getting into competition shooting, you know, this year. But I didn't know how I wanted to like get into it. So when I saw this video, it like it it, it made me like hype. I was like, oh shoot, like this y'all shooting flat as heck. <laughs> It, it look good, shoots flat. I don't see why I shouldn't, you know, build a joint. So I went out and I caught me a Glock 45. Now you may be wondering, you said they got a 19 and a 19X. A 45 ain't nothing but a blacked out 19X. Um, got the, the regular Glock sights, which you go change them out, all that good stuff. But um, I saved a couple of dollars, you know, picking this joint up. So again, we got the Glock 45, as you see, orange follower. We are uh, clear, nothing in there. Self-inspect, all that good stuff. We clear. That boy is safe. Glock 45 is uh it's interesting. I, I truly like it. I, I do have bigger hands. So I was looking for a firearm that one I can get a full grip on. And you know, it could just give me that 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 pressure when I put my hand. What the hell was that? Anyway, I was looking for something that could uh, you know, I can have a comfortable grip with, I can get a, a full purchase, as the people like to call it, a full purchase, a full grip on a firearm and I can Hey bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Keep going outside like that, but keep going outside like that. That was bad. That was bad. A little, a little shine. A little shine. You know, do my thing when I when I present, right? And I was like, all right, I don't really want a Glock 17, cause Glock 17, that's the full size, daddy, right? This is the Glock 17 frame, but I wanted the size of a 19 for the slide. This is a Glock 19, you know, size slide. That's how they got the 45. The 17 and the 19 had a baby. So I picked it up and I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to like this joint. And, you know, I went to the range today and I uh, put about, I said I put about 100 and 150 rounds down range just to get, you know, re-familiarized with Glock because it's been a little minute since I had a joint. But um, this Gen 5? They knocked it out the park with the trigger, man. The trigger, trigger. I mean, it's it's still a Glock trigger. Glock triggers ain't nothing to be fucking 
you know, oh, it's amazing, like shit trash. We ain't gonna lie, shit trash. But it's it's reliable. It's the it's the reason why they say Glock perfection. But um, like I said I put about 150 rounds down range. The it, it just it feels natural, man. It's like it never it never left my hands as I got the Glock. So I, I think I think I'm looking forward to this build, John. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the the barrel and the compensator combo. Whenever that mess get back in stock, I've been checking the joint every day, and it's been out of stock every day. Just you know, everybody trying to buy a joint ever since these uh, these dudes shot this video. But I'm like, man, I need to I need to hurry up and find the joint. So I'm I'm looking, I'm looking every day until I find it. I'm just be on the site looking, 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 seeing if it's in stock. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, that you know that barrel and compensator. I'm going uh, to change the sights out on here. I may end up sending a slide off, of course, to get it milled. Because as you saw on my, my ADC, I do prefer a red dot. It's easier for me to pick up. And I, I'm just so used to it at this point because I train with this so much. But, um, yeah, man, we we going we gonna, to we gonna deck this thing out. And I got a new holster coming in for next week. I should should be coming in next week. I might be doing a review on that. I'm going uh, to carry this around for a little bit and see how I like it. As of right now, I'm just carrying it with a uh, outside the waistband, just a little outside the waistband holster when I'm at the range. But um, as of right now, this is sitting on the nightstand because I'm, I, I shoot pretty, shoot pretty well with this joint. It's not bad. I do have other firearms, but I wanna wanna put some, put some work on this joint. But if you didn't know, it does come with three uh, 17 round magazines. As you see, I got two of them here. Of course, they got they got them hollow points. They got now we don't do FMJs with your carries and all that, y'all. Don't don't be walking around with no FMJs in your mag and you think you ain't finna run into no trouble if you ever had to shoot. But we do got the hollow points. Um, I'm trying out this new this new to me. It's called a uh, Barnes Tac XPD. Um, it's these blacked out blacked out joints that I picked up today, and um they they look good. I ain't gonna hold you. They look they look immaculate, right? I was looking for the black Rambo. Uh, Black Rambo ammo, but that has been out of stock. So this is the next best thing for me. I'm gonna try that out, see how I like it. Um, usually I carry, I think it's, it's called like Hornady or something like that. I usually carry those, but um, I wanna try these out. I'm gonna get these to try. So we're gonna, we gonna see how these how these function. But um, yeah, man, Glock 45, super solid, 17 frame, 19 slide, perfect firearm in my eyes, best of both worlds. And then, of course, uh, my everyday carry is still going to be my, my beautiful SIG X Macro. I have, like I said, had zero malfunctions in this. And um, it's one of the flattest shooting guns I've had. And I also saw GHG got this same firearm as well. So I'm, I don't want y'all to think I'm copping. Like, I, I got this, what, like a week after it came out. And then I saw he picked it up. And I was like, oh, shoot, the Glock boy to switch. But no, he, you know, he picked it up. He, I think he still got it in his arsenal. But... Until then, like I said, just keep your eyes peeled for when I go ahead and do this build. I want y'all to follow me through this this journey of me trying to uh, try not this competition shooting, man. Like I'm not a bad shot. I'm pretty dope, uh, you know, when I'm on a range. But I want to kick it up and I just want to do a bit more on the channel and just take y'all with me, like I said, along this journey. So hopefully y'all enjoy that. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment down below. Like what you think about the Glock 45 or the the 1917s and the 19Xs. Let me know what you think about this this firearm or just glass in general. If you got the SIG X Macro, let me know what you think about that because, um, like I said, I'm doing my review soon. I'm still carrying this every day. I carry this everywhere I go. Um, but, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. I appreciate y'all again, and um, I will catch y'all next time. Make sure, like I said, y'all smash that like button. Catch you next time. Peace.